All right, hi everybody, it's Cops. How you guys all doing? Well, you know, uh, if you've been watching my station or if this is the first time you ever seen my station, it's just a little bit of everything. Uh, it's whatever I do in life, you know. I go do a lot of different things, fishing, looking for Bigfoot, panning for gold, just travel around outside, outdoor activities and stuff, ride mini bikes, yeah, ride mini bikes, that's right. I haven't did any videos yet, but we will be doing some of those videos pretty soon. But anyhow, mainly we're like going out seeing places where Bigfoot could be and seeing if we can capture him on the camera, which I think I will be able to do that and get some real good footage. So I know some places to go now and there's been a lot of activity and we're going to be looking at those places. But anyhow, today, oh yeah, once again, thanks everybody that has subscribed to my station. And if you want to see more of my videos and stuff, just uh, go ahead and subscribe down there. If you want to be notified, go ahead and hit the bell down there. I forget which side it is. Maybe it's on this side. Oh, that little earthquake there. That was Lucy. She had to jump up there, shake the whole place. But anyhow, it wasn't an earthquake. It was just Lucy jumping up on on the giant beanbag chair, which I did a, did a video or two on the big beanbag chair. I see Luce over there. She's over there watching me. I got somebody in the studio here watching me. Yeah, <laughs> you're funny, Lucy. Anyhow, so for today, I'm just gonna do a spin on a way Copy makes a grilled cheese sandwich, if you can call that, a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm gonna be cooking it in the, in the air right there <laughs> air fryer but you can cook it on your on your stove top if you like but anyhow I'm gonna show you how I do it and uh, so my spin on it I know some people won't like it some people will like it I don't really care it's just something I do and I'm gonna film it and just put it on and anybody wants to try it they can try it if not that's okay when I'm dead and gone I'll have all these videos and people can go back and watch them and say hey there's cops, he's still alive, you know? You can keep watching my videos. Anyhow, that's the main reason doing stuff like this. It's not really for money or something else because I don't get a dime off of any of my videos. <laughs> I did once, at one time I was monetized and then they changed the rules and I've never been able to get monetized ever again because you gotta have, what is it? A thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours every year. It's almost impossible to do when you're small like my channel is. But anyhow, I got some pretty good videos though of UFOs and Bigfoot and whatever I do. I just put them, put them on there. It's Cobby Adventures, you know? It's whatever. Well, actually, it's Cobby Badger Adventures. Okay, so anyhow, if you're the first time to my station, I welcome you. And uh, I hope you like watching my videos. And I hope you subscribe and you watch some more. And, uh... Anyhow, let's get going on that uh, grilled cheese sandwich, we can call it. And we'll get started on that right now. I'll pull some stuff out of the fridge and we'll see what I got in the cabinet over there that I can put on it too. And we'll get started on that sandwich and see what we can come up with. All right. So, one thing I like putting on the grill cheese sandwiches mayonnaise but this is just with dressing okay this is a cheap stuff it's like just about like mayonnaise but it's a little bit different hope that camera's focusing can't tell when I don't have my glasses on but anyhow let's see what else we gonna get uh, I think we got some cheese in here yeah let's try some of this kind of cheese today I like using different kinds of cheese all the time. This is more like Velveeta cheese. We're going to use some of that. And uh, a little cutting block out here. What else can we put in this sandwich? Mm. Of course, we got to have bread, you know? Well, let's see. I got some bread still. Let's use this kind of bread. Okay. You know what? Let's kind of like get some uh, garlic powder to go with that, too. Sounds okay. What else? Oh yeah. Let's do something a little different here. Got a little miniature bag here. I'll be back over there in a second. 
All right. So now we got some. What's this stuff? That might be good on there. Might just try this too because you know this stuff might be good on there too. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Oh, corn chips. Chili corn chips. I don't know if you can see that one or not. I don't know. Not much light over here. But that's probably good enough. Chili corn chips. Go smash some of those up, I think, put on the sandwich, okay? I think, and we're gonna put some good old garlic powder on that bread. Let's see. This little bag to smash up the chips. You know what else? I think I'm gonna put some, uh, Let's put some turkey lunch meat on there too. I think a couple pieces of that. that. That should be pretty good. So let's get at this thing and see what we can come up with. Let's see, I got another. Oh yeah. There we go. That's gonna help out a lot right there. So. Oh, a little chocolate mocha. Whoa, that was a little hot. That's okay. Better hot than cold, right? <laughs> Not a scripted video at all, okay? This is being done on the fly here. Let's see what we can do here. Get my knife out. Let's cut this thing open. Put that cheese there. Get some of that cheese out of here. So, all right, so we're gonna cut off a couple good chunks of cheese here. Oh, that's a really good one. I guess this one's for eating. Mmm, it's pretty good cheese. I don't know how well this cheese will melt. Mmm, but I'm gonna use it anyhow because that's all I got for today. Mm-mm. So chips. Probably wonder what I'm gonna do with those chips, right? Get those chips. Put about a handful of chips in there. Don't need too many of them though. Mmm. Those are good chips, I tell you. Those chips are not bad at all. Okay. Maybe someday I'll get two cameras, different camera shot angles. I used to do like three TV shows, but running cameras and stuff, but whoa, another earthquake, that was me. What happens when you're in a RV trailer? Sometimes they shake a lot, especially when they're sitting on gravel underneath the Stabilizing the arms if there's gravel. Gravel's sort of like marbles, you know, or sort of like these chips right here, you know. They shift, it shifts all the time. So it's better if you scrape all the gravel away and then put down your arms, get on solid ground. Because it can work like marbles and cause your rig to shift around after you got it all solid. You think it's solid? But if you're there for a month or two, then they'll start shifting this up. So I haven't did that here, but I'm going to do it because it's starting to move around. When it rains, the ground lifts up and goes down, up and down, and causes it to move around. Now, if you're on concrete or something, you got real solid, you know, travel trailer won't even hardly move or nothing. Okay, so now we're gonna get a couple pieces of slices bread out here. And it's just, you know, whatever bread you like. This is what? Italian bread. It's Italian. Okay. Actually, I'm not Italian. Well, could be. I don't know. Supposedly, mostly a mixed breed of whatever. German, Irish. Who knows what else? 
anyhow, something like that. Everybody's mixed mixed up over here in America. Okay, so we got the bread. On this bread, I'm going to take, which is like mayonnaise, okay, but there's a couple more things I need to get out here to work with. This is for the pans so we don't scratch the pans and uh, we'll just use uh, my favorite. This knife is designed to work inside and clean one of these out, jars out, so you can get every bit. You can pick these up. One of my videos, one of my cooking videos, I put a link where you can pick these up on eBay. These are great though. Use them in your skillets so you don't scratch them and stuff like this, you know. And you can use these plastic ones in your skillet. Don't scratch them. So, let's go from here. We got this, we got that. Let's put some this on to start with. Okay, we're gonna put some of this on. Both pieces of bread. Coat it pretty good. Yeah. It's not a nice thin coating of it. Of course, some people like more of this stuff, but it might make it too soggy if you put too much on it. It's just a nice little thin coating, okay? On both sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's clean this off real fast because we might use it again. So it doesn't cross contaminate nothing here. Okay, let's shut that off. Let me get another Ziploc bag real fast. All right. I use a lot of just you know put this stuff back in the Ziploc bag. Don't want no moisture in there with your cheese. Keep it nice and dry. Because I don't think I'll be needing any more cheese. I got, I think that's plenty of cheese right there. We'll see. I might need some more. Next thing is we got the crushed up chips, okay? Those. Make sure your hands dry. Because I got my hands wet. Just to rinse them off. Okay. I thought that was one of my good towels. I was gonna show you my little chef guy on the towel, but that's not one of them. Maybe I'll go get one here when this is cooking, because I'll pause it. Okay, so we got this, and we're gonna put the chip, chips on next, okay? Just take and sprinkle chips on top of the bread like this. Oh yeah, move them around a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna do the other side. More chips. Yeah, cover it good with the chips. I guess you can use any kind of chips you want, but I, I like these kind. These just add a lot of flavor to it. Chili taste, I like that. over maybe not I can get it all on there I'd say it's about a teaspoon of crumbled up chips when you actually do this Put the rest over there so you got about a teaspoon of crumbled chips on top of the bread here just like that and get it up a little closer to the camera here just like that put it on there like that for some reason, I have too much light in here, but there you go. Crumbled up, put on there like that. And let me see. Let me maybe turn on one more light, see if this will help it out any. See, that's what happens when you're making it on the fly on the go. Okay, so we got the chips on there. And uh, let's rearrange the camera down a little bit more so we can see a little more of this action going on down here. And let's turn it just a little bit. 
because it ain't about me, it's about the sandwich, right? <laughs> it's not about me being on camera. All right, so we got, we got the bread here. I'm gonna take the cheese and now I'm gonna put some of the cheese on here. I'm gonna tear it up just a little bit. Put like one little piece in there. One little piece there. This is the bread will kind of like flatten out. I mean, cheese will kind of flatten out on here when it melts. Now, I'm gonna melt the cheese before I actually cook the grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, a little too much cheese, really. But I like cheese. You like cheese? Mm. Pretty good. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, get down here, high level. The heck was that? Oh, no big thing. Like I say, you never know what's gonna happen in one of my videos. Uh, let me drink some of this real bad. Wash that cheese down. It was just a little uh, drain thing that goes into the sink, fell down on the floor, made the noise. Anyhow. So we're gonna get back to the sandwich. Let's take and stick this part of the sandwich in the microwave until the cheese melts, okay? And then we'll take it back out and I'll show you what we're gonna do after that. So, I use paper plates a lot around here to put stuff in the microwave, so just put the bread on there in the microwave. Keep this up and let it melt down a little bit. Oh, there's one more thing I wanna put on there. I like garlic. So I'm gonna put just, this is only gonna take about a minute or so. For this to do it in the microwave but i'll shut the camera off here for a second all right so i put the bread in there for about a minute and a half and you see all the cheese is nice melted and everything so oh yeah here's here's the cute little towel i got there you go old chef at it i don't know if you can see it on there new little towels i got kind of like them anyhow Let's go from, I'm gonna put the turkey on there. I wasn't gonna put the turkey on there, but I decided to put some turkey on there like this. Just go slice it. I was just gonna make it all cheese today, but I'll put two slices of turkey on there. One on the side. And we got that part done. Put this back in the freezer real fast. And that done now we're going to just take our two slices we got here we just put them together like you would a regular sandwich you know we haven't grilled it yet though a little extra cheese and stuff you can just eat that yourself okay now we're gonna get this uh the new spoon? No, that's not a new spoon. It's better to use a spoon because coconut oil. We're going to use coconut oil, okay? Not going to use butter. Get some out of here. Just, you can pre-melt it if you want or usually the bread's warm enough after it comes out of the microwave you can just do it this way. Just rub it around and it melts. Or if you got it liquidified, it'll be better. You can just like put it in the pan and liquefy it. Just let it soak into the bread pretty well. Sort of like that. Give it a nice good soaking. So your bread's pretty soaked up with the coconut oil. And then I'm just gonna throw it in the skillet like that, okay? Move this paper plate out of the way and do the other side it's still warm from being in the microwave I put it in the microwave for like a minute and a half at uh, high okay and then you got your skillet already going or whatever on your stove you're just gonna brown it on each side and we get this coated really well here Coconut oil is a lot, you know, it's really good for you and stuff. 
and uh, gives a little different taste than butter. But, mm, look, can't waste nothing, you know. Anyhow, that's the coconut oil. Now we're gonna put it into the into the air fryer. We'll stick it in the air fryer, and we'll cook it up on the air fryer. And we'll see how it goes from there. So, how long are we gonna cook it in the air fryer? That's the question. I think I'll do it at 375. Let me just do it for set on four minutes. And we'll let it run for four minutes. We'll see how that comes out. Turn the water off. Don't need to waste the water. And I'll shut the camera off so it won't take as long. So I actually had to turn it off and turn it back on for another four minutes because it wasn't even close to being done. Because on the air fryer, it's not like preheated up, so it's a little bit harder to uh, brown it the exact way you want it. So. Looks like it's gonna take probably about between 12 and let's say 16 minutes to really brown it in the air fryer the way you want it at uh, 370 temperature. Of course, like I'm at about 3,500 feet, so depending on what altitude you're at is depending on how it's gonna fast it's gonna cook for you. So now we're coming up on about eight minutes on one side so be pulling it out here in a second and take a look at it yeah it's starting to get brown like I want it to I don't like mine like super brown or super toasted you know I just like it slightly as you can see it's slightly toasted right now put one of these down because it will melt the other thing and what I'm going to do is flip it over the other side and see what we got. See, it's not quite brown on the other side, so it's about eight, almost eight minutes right now. Seven minutes on one side, so I'm going to give it a, about two more minutes on this side, okay, and see what happens. And then call it good. That's going to be the. That's going to be a. Uh, well. Cobby spent on doing a uh, toasted cheese sandwich through an air fryer with uh, coconut oil instead of instead of uh, butter and crushed chips on it. Mmm, it's gonna be good. Of course, I stuck a piece of turkey in there too. This thing's gonna taste good. I got a feeling, and I uh, put a little bit of garlic powder on top of it too with the cheese. So. We're just about done. We got like another minute. I think I'll shut this off and turn it back on when it's done. All right, she's all done. Let's take her out and see what we got. So it was a total of uh, eight, nine, about nine minutes cooking time, okay? And it's just the way I like it. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Now don't use your hand like I'm doing because you might burn your hand, but anyhow, check her out. She's nice and grilled, air fried, and uh, boy, looks like she's going to be good. And then we'll take a knife and we'll just cut it in two here. Of course, I got, I got Lucy down there. She wants a little bite of it. She is definitely hot. I have to let her cool off a little bit. That's what she looks like inside. She looks like she's gonna be good though. Mmm. That's a that's a grilled sandwich. That's really a good grilled sandwich. That's how Cobby does it. And you might want to try this grilled cheese sandwich that's really good I used uh, the 
cheese that's close to like Velveeta. Mmm, that tastes good. It really turned out good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's winner. Here, Lucy. Come here, Lucy. Come here. Look at that. There you go, Lucy. Is that good? Oh, yeah, Lucy says it's good. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. All my fan club over there in Europe, too. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, hey, this is really good, you know. I'm getting it in my mustache. Anyhow, if, if you want to see more of my videos and stuff, see what I'm doing, just go ahead and subscribe down there at the bottom. If you want to be notified, go ahead and ring the bell if you want that, too. Anyhow, this is Copy Badger out this time. And, until next time, God bless, and thanks for all the people who support the channel, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys all later on the next one. I'll be out next time. God bless. And be safe. Dang, that's good. That's worth making.